We have got not one, but two massive games today as we take on League One Barnsley in the FA Cup first round at home on the telly. And after that, we have got Kidderminster in a top of the table league class in a massive episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 32 of my Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep, like I said in the intro, two big games today. I'm so looking forward to getting these played. I hope you're enjoying this series and looking forward to this episode as well. If you are, pop a like down below. As yet, we are taking on Barnsley on the TV in the FA Cup at home at the walks. Should hopefully bring a capacity crowd which should really help out the finances. And then after that, we have got a top of the table class against Kidderminster. I'll show you how we're doing in the league and how we've been getting on right now. And so, since you was last with me, we have played quite a few games. The last ones you saw were against Darlington and Gloucester. 1-0 loss and then a 2-0 win against Gloucester. Adam Marriott and Rosa with the goals against Gloucester. And then all the rest of these I'm just going to go through rather quickly because there is quite a few games that have been played. As you can see, we have been on quite a good run. It's, it's fallen to a little bit of a slump in the last three games. But before that, it's been alright. Started off with a 1-0 win against Barrow. Adam Marriott with the goal there. And then a 5-0 win versus Needham Market in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup. We went full strength just to make sure that we got through and to keep the confidence going from the couple of wins before that. But, however, after that, we did lose 2-0 in a very poor performance against Chester. You can see there, our best performer was David Mbala on a 7 Nobody else getting really near that apart from our keeper. So that tells you what went on in that game. But then after that, we went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games unbeaten in all competitions. Which was very nice. Starting off with a 1-0 win versus Brackley. Diaz Wright with his typical long-range effort into the back of the net. Very nice goal there to wrap up a decent performance. And then Hemel Hempstead 1-0. The Machine Marriott once again with another goal. And yet that was a decent performance. Didn't play that well but we definitely deserved to win I think. And then third qualifying round of the FA Cup, 3-0 win, DiMaggio Wright-Phillips with a couple and Adam Marriott made it 3-0 by the half hour mark and we just sort of coasted after that. And then after that, Spenny Moore 1-0, again Marriott, again he just keeps on scoring, he, he could be 60, 70 year old and he will still score goals at this level, the man is an absolute freak, so yep, he gave us the win against Spenny Moore, but as you'll notice, we're not scoring a whole lot in the league, but we're not conceding too many either, so it's not been too bad. And then South Shields, 1-1 draw. Adam Marriott gave us the lead in the 66th minute. But then they equalised with 10 minutes to go. And we bossed this game. We really, really should have won this game. They was very lucky to get out of it with a point. And then the game I was going to bring you on video. But this and the FC United game got split up by the scheduling. And Lowestoft are right down the bottom of the league. So I thought wouldn't be that interesting. So I just played it on. And then, yep, 4-0 win versus Lowestoft. Mbala with one. Mundell with one. Marriott with a couple. And then fourth qualifying round, 
We beat Darlington 1-0. David Mbala ran the show in this game. It should have been 2-0, but Adam Marriott missed a penalty, which was very disappointing. So it was it was nervy up until the end, but we managed to hold on for the win and hopefully a decent payday today against Barnsley. And then 3-0 win against Stafford. Marriott with a couple, this time scoring a penalty, and Diaz right. And so it was 3-0 by half-time. Nice, easy, comfortable win. But then, like I say, our little mini slump. We've drawn 1-1 with AFC Telford. Jack Marrow giving them the lead. But then Diaz right equalising from the penalty spot. And after that, it was... It was sort of back and forth, but there was never really one team who looked like winning it. So a draw on the day was the best result. And then FC United, what a game this was. Back and forth, Theo Hudson giving them the lead in the 33rd minute. Adam Marriott equalising 20 seconds into the second half. Niall Dempsey then thinking he had won it for FC United. And I thought he had. We looked terrible. And we looked like we was going to fall to our first defeat in quite a while. But Akeem Rose came on off the bench. And he said, na, 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 na. And he scored what I think is his first ever goal for the club. If I'm not wrong. No, it's his second goal. But it was his first of the season. And what a time to get it. To get us level in that game. And so that leads us on to the last game we played. Absolutely awful performance. No idea what happened here against Braintree. But we just did not show up whatsoever. We did take the lead but we didn't deserve it. And so they got another couple back. And yet they won the game two goals to one. So that was just a very, very poor day at the office. But that all leads us to the league table. And as you can see, we are still top of the league. We have been top by about 7 or 8 points at one point. But the last 3 games without a win have seen us get wheeled back in. And so, yeah, we're 4 points clear of Barrow. And 5 points clear of Kidderminster, who are today's second opponents. So that should be a big, big game. And so, let's get into the team for the first of today's big games against Barnsley. We've got Herbin in goal, Haberjum at left back, Andrew Unpronounceable and Hopkins are our centre-back pairing for today. Dylan Crow is still our main right back. He's having a very good season thus far on a 7.32 for his last five games. And in the midfield, we've got obviously the main man, David Mbala, on the left-hand side. McCarthy and Wright are in the centre of midfield. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips is on the right-hand side. Him and Crow have got a very good partnership going, so that's very nice to see. But we have got a change up top. Bernardo Rosa has come in for the underperforming Romain Mundell, just behind, of course, the machine, the legend Adam Marriott. So that is going to be a team for today's game. Come on, you Linnets. Barnsley, as you would expect, are heavy, heavy favourites to win this. 4-7 to seven to win the game, whereas we are 4-1 to one to win it. The bookies not giving us any chance, but you never know. It could happen. If you have a look at where Barnsley are in League One, they are all top. Ooh, okay. Well, that means this is going to be a little bit more difficult, doesn't it, got boys and girls? Oh my gosh. Oh well, we're going to go there. We're going to give it a go, and you never ever know what can happen. <laughs> Into the team talk we go. Once again, no opposition instructions. Uh, I'm going to go. We've got nothing to lose here. Let's show everyone else what we're capable of. And a few of them are motivated. Let's see if I can get everyone motivated. Not quite. But we've got most of them, so that'll do. And now prediction time. What on earth do you say to this? Prediction time. 
Uh, one one draw. One one draw is what I'm gonna go with, and that is me being a little bit optimistic. I think as we go into the tunnel, Barnsley are apparently the lowest goal scorers in the FA Cup. Sorry, that be because they haven't entered yet. Okay, that's a weird thing for a journalist to, to be saying. Um, duh, 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 duh. Oh, I don't think we're the better team by far. Um, only a forward right a team off not scoring enough goals. No, I'm not in the business of making pre-match predictions. And yet, yeah, I'm happy with Hopkins' performances at central defence. And yet, Dylan Crowe has been doing very, very well as the teams do walk out onto the pitch. Come on, Kings Lynn. Announceable has it on the edge, goes to McCarthy, and McCarthy to Hopkins, Hopkins he can find a man out wide, right Phillips, can he turn, yes he does, Haberjum is in, can he get into the box, no he doesn't, he goes back to Hopkins, to McCarthy, we're keeping the ball nicely here at the minute, but we do need to find a way to get forward, and that's gone wrong, and Woodrow is in, ah, oh, from that very nice position, and we are behind, Cooley Woodrow with his 14th of the season. That just shows the difference in quality between League One and the Conference North. One bad pass and you get punished. Woodrow got past his defender there. Who was it? Was that Hopkins? No, it's Crow. What was Crow doing there? Surely there should have been a central defender there. But, oh well, Herbin tried his best. He got a hand to it, but he could not keep the ball out. 23 minutes in now. Barnsley with another highlight. Wright heads the ball away. Goes to Purrington, whose cross is deflected there. And can Rosa get onto this first? Yes, he can. He's got Marriott ahead of him. Or is he going to try and do it himself? He's running forward. He's into the box. He needs to square it. Why? 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 Delilah. Why would you do that? Oh. And that is the half-time whistle. We're still in the game. We're not being completely outclassed, I think. We're only 1-0 down. We've had four shots to their seven. They've had four on target. They've had one clear-cut chance, which they've converted. But possession has been very, very even. I think if we keep it like this, we might have a chance going into the last 20, 25 minutes. So let's go assertive. It's time for everyone to dig in and show what you've got left. A few people are motivated. And I have faith in you and any more else here I can get motivated. There we go. And yet, let's leave it at that. Come on, Linux. Let's at least get a replay back at their place. That would be very nice. 52 minutes on the clock. Their goalkeeper clears the ball. Goes to Purrington, who goes back to Diaby. He goes long, but Crow should have got onto that, I think. And now Barre is coming through. He's gone for the long shot. And that was dreadful. That was threatening absolutely nobody except those lads in the front row. Five minutes later, we've got a throw-in. Unpronounceable with the throw-in. Goes to Rosa. Back to unpronounceable. And he's giving the ball away there. Why has he done that for? Ah, oh, Casato is in. He's gone for the shot. And Herbin with the save. Thankfully, Herbin is on his toes today. And now it's going to be them with the corner ball. As I do notice, the stadium is not completely 100% sold out. It's a lot more full than what it normally is, don't get me wrong, but it's not a complete sellout. As now Barnsley have the ball and that ends that, and immediately following that, Purrington with another throw in, goes to Casata, to Mpai. Now can we win this back please? Casata with another cross, Williams with it, and that squirms past our keeper. And that ends this as any kind of challenge, surely. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Kasata with the ball goes to Empire and he crossed it. No, he wasn't. It was Kasata who crossed it. Williams got in behind the defence. And what Herbin was doing there, I haven't got a clue. I think he just wanted to lay down and go back to sleep. Okay, 25 minutes left to go. We're just making a couple of changes. 
Xavier Simmons has come on for Callum McCarthy. Mundell's come on for the very much underperforming Bernardo Rosa. And we've pushed Mbala and Wright Phillips up top. Let's go for a little bit more longer passing. And go for shoot on site. Let's see if that can do anything for us. And so, yeah, that's the changes for the last 25 minutes. Go attacking. Why not? And so, let's just see what can happen. You never know. Weirder things have happened in this game of football. So, yeah, 25 minutes left to go. Can we get an equaliser? Can we get a draw? That would be nice. Just about 15 minutes left to go in the game. Barnsley with the ball. McGeehan to Barre. He plays it out wide and Crow should get this ball and he does. Goes to Hopkins. He goes long but their man heads it away. Goes to McGeehan again. Williams with it. Oh, we almost got the ball back there. Williams, can he get past his man? I think he's going to. And oh, why? 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 Why has Andrew done that? Why would you do something as thick as that? That is absolutely ending this game. Woodrow with it. And oh, Herbin, he almost saved it. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh well, we was never expected to win this game. But I think 2-0 would have been much more respectable than 3-0. As my green screen is unhappy as well and is throwing a bit of a temper tantrum there behind me. Now 15 minutes left to go. If this is another goal, we're going back to positive just to limit the damage. And Barla with the ball gives it away. What is it with us passing it to them? They don't need us to pass it to them. Brown is in 4 0. Going attacking was a mistake. That was an absolute mistake as Marcus Brown with the goal there. Very disappointing there. We've played poorly. We have played very poorly, I think, especially in this second half. We've made a couple of unforced errors. And yet, just made it easy for them. Five minutes left. Please don't let Barnsley get another one. Purrington with the ball. He goes back to Akinola. Who goes long. And Hopkins collects the ball. Goes to Crow. Back to Hopkins. Back to Crow. Back to Hopkins. To me. To you. To me. To you. Crow again with it. Goes to Wright Phillips. Wright Phillips with the ball. He plays it long. Marriott is in. Oh, no, he's not. The defence has got itself back there. But now Marriott is in the box. Why has he gone for the shot? What is it with everyone thinking they can shoot from any angle they want? As now, what's that? Two and a half minutes left to go in the game. Barnsley once again coming forward. Heim with the ball to Woodrow, to Kassata. Forward to Woodrow, to Brown. And they're in again. This is five. Oh... This ain't been very nice. I think they're just being rude now. They are just being rude now. Jamie and Pai with the goal. Woodrow with a very nice pass. And Brown with a very good through ball. Yeah. We are learning very quickly the difference in quality between our league and League One. Thankfully, that is game over. 5-0 defeat. 24 shots they had to our 10. We had just two on target to their 13. Uh, clear cut chances they had four to our none. Possession was 50 50. Wow. We have been taught a lesson today. Let's go and say, unlucky boys, would have been nice there to win, but it wasn't to be. They're relaxed and they're motivated. And so I'll be back with you in a second for the Kidderminster game back in the league. Hopefully we can win that. That was always the more important game. Here's the team for today's game. Herbin keeps his place in goal as ever. Tommy Smith comes back in at left back. And it's a swap of Andrews in the defence as Andrew Young comes in for Andrew Unpronounceable. Hopkins keeps his place alongside Young. Crow is still in at right back. The midfield is still exactly the same. Mbala, McCarthy, Wright, Wright Phillips 
And then up front, we've got Mundell replacing Bernardo Rosa. Neither of them two are playing well at the moment. But Mundell gets the nod for today. And then, of course, it is the legend Adam Marriott up top. The bookmakers have us as quite big favourites to win this game. We are 4-5 to five on to win it, whereas Kidderminster are 3-1. to one. If I was a betting man, I'd be chucking a fiver on Kidderminster because those are quite good odds for this game. But I am still confident we can win it. We are first in the league. They are third. We have only won one of our last five. They have won two, losing two, and drawing the other one. So we're both in very, very mixed form. Hopefully, we can write our form today and get a decent result. Into the team talk we go. And we are going to say, passionately, uh, let's show the world what this team is all about. And most of the lads are motivated. Let's just see if we can get Mario on the same wavelength. And yet, there we go. And so, prediction time for this one. 2-0 us. 2-0 us, I'm saying. Come on, you Linets. 10 minutes in, we've got the first highlight of the game. Mbala with a corner. Marriott with the header. The keeper's tried his best to keep that out. But Marriott has got his 21st of the season. Let's have another look at this from behind the goal. Mbala with it, Marriott with a header, Rowley the keeper, pushed it onto the post and it fell into the back of the net. And that is a very good start. And now 30 seconds later, we've got another highlight. Crow throws it to Mundell, who's in the box. Can he cross this in? Nope, he goes back to White Phillips and that, oh, I thought that was 2-0. I really thought that was 2-0 then. What a dream start that would have been. 18 minutes into the game, Rowley with the ball, clears the ball long. And can we win it back here off Peplo? Please let us win this back. No, we can't. And Jolly's in. He's in behind. Oh, this is way too easy. But thankfully, Herbin with the save pushes it behind for a corner ball. And who's it going to be to take it? It's going to be Weeks. He crosses it in, and Young heads the ball away, but only as far as Peplo. And can we just scramble this ball away? Yes, we can. And we survive with our lead for the time being. 37 minutes in, Sarok with a throw in. White with the ball, he's in the box. He's got space to turn, but Hopkins has cleared his shot. And they're going to come at us again. Wilson goes wide, and right, Phillips. Is he giving away a free kick? No, he hasn't. Crow back to Hopkins, wide to McCarthy, and McCarthy goes long, and Mundell collects the ball, and he's fouled there, surely, but apparently not. Weeks with the ball, parking with it, and now on the right-hand side, come on, we need to get this back, and we have, well done, Smith, McCarthy, Mbala, Mbala with the ball, can he come forward? No, he can't. Neither side's keeping the ball all that well. As it goes all the way back to their keeper. Once again. Rowley with it. He kicks the ball long again. And McCarthy tries to win the header there but doesn't. White plays it through. Jolly is in so much space. But Herbin with a great save there. Wow. How we have survived until half time with the lead. I don't know. Look at these stats. Four shots we've had to their seven. They've had six on target. They've had both the clear-cut chances. We have dominated possession, however. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to drop the defensive line a little bit deeper. And leave it... Honestly, we might go like that. Go lower and lower. Just try and hold on to this lead. I think that's how we're going to leave it for the minute. And then we're going to go team talk. We're going to go assertive. Uh, you've played well, but it's still room for improvement. A few people are motivated there. One more. And most of them there, all but one, are motivated. That's a good sign for the second half. Let's go and hold on to this win. Come on, Linets. Oh, five minutes into the second half. Weeks with a corner. Right is headed away. Alexander with the ball on the edge of our box. Goes to parking and he's powered it into the back of the net. Oh my gosh. That was awful. 
As soon as they got the ball off the corner, you knew they were going to score. Alexander had it. He spun round and parking first time. Herbin is completely out of position there. Half an hour left to go in the game. Smith has got the ball, goes to Mundell, to Smith. And Smith goes out wide to right. Mbala with the ball, can he get into the box? No, he can't. But Marriott, yes, Marriott has given us the lead once again with his 22nd of the season. What a awful back pass that was from their defender. As have a look at this. Smith with the ball goes to Wright and Wright plays it there. And Alexander tries to play it back to his keeper, but Marriott reacted first. We are leading once again. Okay, 20 minutes left to go in the game. We're just making a couple of changes. Diaz Wright has been replaced by Xavier Simmons. And Walter has come on for DiMaggio Wright Phillips. Both of them two have not been playing that well, so I thought they needed replacing. And so hopefully that should be enough to see us through now till the end of the game. Immediately following them changes, Kidderminster have got a corner and we've just about got the ball away, I think. Johnson, no, goes to Alexander who crosses it in, goes out wide to Weeks. Can we win this ball back, please? Parking, Callum with the shot and it's cleared, but they are all over us. We need to survive. 15 minutes left. Can we hold on? 10 minutes left. Mm -hmm. Smith with a throw in, goes to Mbala, back to Smith. He crosses it into the box. Walters with the header. He's hit the post. Mundell, square it, my son. Mbala, somebody do something. It's gone out for a goal kick. Yes! Get in. Massive, massive result, that one. We have won the game. Two goals to one. We did not deserve to win that game in any way, shape or form. We only had nine shots, two to their 18, four on target, two to their nine, three clear-cut chances they had, two are one. We only won the possession stat, but we won the big main one, the goals scored one. Oh, what a relief to win that game. Let's go and go passionate. Well done, lads. That was a good win. And we're going to end the team talk there. And then we'll see what the league table is looking like. And, yeah, we'll see where, where, where we might come back for the next episode. The league table is looking very, very nice. Kings Lynn, top of the league. By seven points away from everybody. Telford are in second. Barrow in third. Kidderminster, who we've just beaten, are in fourth. Ah, oh, is this the year? Is this finally the year we go up? We are definitely looking good. We're getting results. And so, when shall we come back? I will definitely come back for whatever games I say. I know I promised you two different games for this episode. But whenever I say we're going to come back, that is what we shall come back for. Uh, I think we play all the way through December. I think we come back sometime in January. Uh, Tamworth and Stafford? Yeah, I think that's the two we come back for. Tamworth and Stafford are the games that we'll come back for. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. The India series as well as this one. Thumbnail should be up there now. And as well as that, let me know down below if you want me to bring back my Pro Evo series with West Ham and Diego Maradona. I've been thinking last few days about bringing that back. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know down below. And follow me on Twitter as well, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out all the Passion for FM content creator lads. Think I've got all their details down below. And check out the website, the Discord, the Twitter, the Facebook. All that good stuff we've got going on over at Passion for FM. And yep, guys, that is where I am going to leave it for today. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the league. You're never going to believe us. We're going to win the league.